Hello everyone, this guide shows you how to combine the bandit challenge number 7 and sharpshooter challenge number 3. To do this you're going to want to catch a train um, and if you have them both active at the same time it makes sense to do them together as you'll get a bounty doing so. Catch the train wherever it's from, uh, catch the train to Annisburg and once you get there you're going to stay on it. Worth noting um, that for Sharpshoot Challenge 3 you're going to want to kill some birds, possibly from the distance. So I have a bolt action rifle selected and high velocity rounds because these have the longest range. Um, also worth pointing out if you're doing this like me in Chapter 3, um, you won't be allowed to select your weapons in roads um, as you're acting as a, she a deputy for Sheriff Grey so you need to have that bolt action rifle slung over Hello, your back Liam. before you go to get the train tickets. All right, so get the train to Annisburg and once you get there you're going to want to stay on the train as it prepares to leave. Um, the reason for this is that when the train heads out north um, it will head uh, out of New Hanover and into Amberino which is mostly deserted countryside. Uh, once you acquire a bounty it's going to be much easier for you to evade the law. Okay, so now we're in Annisburg, you're going to want to stay on the train, don't get off it, and you're going to want to wait until it starts moving. Now I recommend doing the Sharpshooter Challenge 3 first, where you have to kill the birds from the moving train. The reason being is that as soon as you start firing your weapon, there is a danger that the train driver will stop the train and the train has to be moving in order for you to uh, get the get the challenge shooting birds from a stationary train will not count now possibly you might want to avoid doing what I did here and get on the roof of the train while you're still in Ansberg as that seems to activate the bounty you're probably in a safer position to wait until you've left the town nevertheless it doesn't prevent me from getting the achievements so as soon as you're on the roof of the moving train um, you basically need to have your rifle selected and keep an eye on the sky for flocks of birds and hopefully it won't take too long see some as you see some just passed overhead there but at the moment I'm ignoring those just wait to uh, avoid the wanted area and draw any additional attention to myself. There we have a massive block of birds, use dead eye and you should be able to get five in one go. They don't have to be simultaneous, so if you do miss one or two of them, you can always get another one relatively easy. So that's one of the challenges out of the way. The next step is then to rob the train. Um, Bandit Challenge 7 requires you to steal $50 worth from um, either Townsfolk or Travellers. If you do it from Travellers on foot in towns, it will take you all day because you're probably going to get a less than a dollar from each. Uh, people on the trains will have a lot more money on them, but you will have to take care of the guards first, as I'm doing here. But as you can see, that's not particularly difficult. Once the guards are taken care of, okay. start robbing the passengers, point your gun at them, and press the appropriate the key on the pop-up to 
get the money off them. And as you can see, as well as loot, you're getting maybe five dollars a time. That's much more than you will get from random pedestrians on foot walking through the towns on average. It's entirely possible, however, that you won't get enough money on the first time of asking, especially if you have um, already activated the sharpshooter challenge, as some of the passengers may already have fled by the time you get a chance to rob them, in which case you'll need to evade the law, which you can do as shown here by stealing the train. Now if you do need a second train, you can then head back to the train tracks with the intention of getting another. But this does potentially, while you're in this part of the countryside, give you the opportunity to pursue any other challenges that might be occurring at this point in time. One of which is if you have Master Hunter Challenge 6 enabled is to look for a cougar which happened to spawn quite regularly in this area here. Um, it's quite noticeable you'll get red enemy signs appearing and you want to use poison arrow, dead eye and while you're here you can quite comfortably be ticking another component of the challenge off as well. It's worth noting that this is entirely within the philosophy of the full 100% completion guide that I've put together and will provide a link to at the end of this video. Um, getting 100% in Red Dead Redemption 2 is a huge challenge, it's much more time consuming and you have to do far more than say the original Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto 5. However if you plan ahead and you do several tasks together you'll find that it's much more efficient. You don't often come up to this um, area of the map before chapter 6 in the story so when you are here you want to tick off as many challenges as you possibly can. Another interesting point about this location is that you can find a lot of golden currents as you see here. So whilst you're waiting for another train to arrive it's worth stocking up on these because you will need plenty of these to craft five special miracle tonics that's needed for Herbalist Challenge 7. You'll need 30 all told to be precise and um, if you haven't unlocked um, the Great Plains yet then this is one of the best areas to find them. But as you can see another train's now arrived. So I'll end stocking up on herbs, get on my horse and follow the train with the intention of getting on board, robbing the passengers and completing Bandit Challenge 7. Now I'm going to follow it and wait, however, until it leaves New Hanover and crosses into Amberino. Um, again, that will reduce the amount of problems I get with the law. It's also worth keeping a safe distance, uh, otherwise the guard at the back of the train may decide to open fire on you and grant you a wanted level. So now we cross the border into Amberino 
now is my opportunity to jump on board the train and complete Bandit Challenge 7. What you need to do is match the speed of the train with your horse and then the prompt will come up which will say you are able to jump on board the train. and dispose of them. Hand over all Please. But you can start robbing passengers early. You see I've got eight dollars from one passenger there. Whilst holding off our guards. By the time you've been through the second train, it's almost sure, certain sure. that you'll have got Bandit Chapter okay. 7. Yeah. I said hand yeah, over what you got! It. And there we have it. Um, absolutely no need to stick around now. Get back on your horse and escape down the train tracks to the west. And that route will conveniently take you towards Cumberland Forest, um, where at six point challenge, six point cabin, sorry, I'll show you how you can farm three more challenges in one location.